finer young man in coaching probably could not be found. And of course, Dave Smart in his 13th year has had unmatched success at the CIS level. Be smart, play smart, win smart. You are a competitor. Uh, I wonder why uh, have you never felt the need to try the NCAA level? I've had offers, but I, I a couple of things factor into it. Number one, I don't really like the rules and that they, they're only allowed to work with their kids for two hours a week from the first of April until the school starts in September. Secondly, the whole recruiting situation down there is very different than it is here. Uh, you know, there, there's there's a lot of sort of programs that do it the right way, but there's a, there's a lot of programs that, you know, they're hiring hiring guys who are connected to guys in order to get that player. Well, when you, when you start doing that, then all of a sudden you can't really coach those kids. The third part is when, when I've been offered, the one time that I actually thought I was going to go down there, I came to tell, tell my team that I was going to go down there and when I saw the guys who I had recruited and how hard they worked for me, I just changed my mind. And now in fairness, my 12 players would probably cheer if I did leave, but from my perspective it would be di very difficult to, to leave them. Four national championships in their five years. After you won last year, how much time did you allow yourself to take to celebrate before you started working again? Well, I mean, I, I let my guys take some time. I, for me, it's it's my job. We start that night, we start that the next morning thinking and worrying about the next year. I mean, it, it's if, if I wasn't getting paid to do this, then maybe I'd take a couple of weeks to celebrate celebrate it, but I, this, you get paid to try to win basketball games, so you try to win basketball games, and if you take two, three days off, then you're, you're putting your program and your team in a, a situation where, where they're at a disadvantage to win the next year. I mean, no, every other program's working hard in those two, three days, so why, why wouldn't we? You know, I, I mean, to be honest, probably more excited the next day after losing than after winning, because when we lose, it's such easy motivation. You know, I, th those two games, I'd probably watch them 50 times each. Whereas, I don't know if I've watched any of the national championship wins a second time. Especially with commentators, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to watch it because it, it, for me, it just, it, we, it, it tends to cause complacency. So I just don't watch it and, and let my paranoia take over and, and get back to work. When we lose, it's nice to watch and hear all the negatives and see all the negatives and make sure that the motivation stays there. Hey! You've won so much at this point. You've done so much personally, professionally. What drives you? I don't want to be that guy. I don't want my program to be that program. I don't want, I don't want people to say, you know what, they, they stopped winning because, you know, he, he, he got old. It's, it's not fair for me to give my guys now anything less than I gave my guys 10 years ago. I hate everything that comes with winning. I really actually like all the media people I've ever, ever met, but I hate the media. So I, I just don't like any of the attention. So everything that comes with winning, I hate. Everything that comes with losing, where no one wants to be around you, no one really wants to talk to you, I love that stuff. I do it because I, I like competing. I like, I like trying to help my guys get everything they can out of their experience.